Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool little UI framework where you can open and close UIs as well as having some nice twinning that can be disabled if you want to. Now before we start this video I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon so if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files they will all be available in the $10 tier the link will be in the description with that being said let's start so what i'm going to do is insert a uh, local script or actually before that let's make our actual uis so let's re add a screen a, a screen gui rename it to um main uh ss for main screen gui and i'm going to add a frame this frame will be our first frame so i'm just going to make it this big Make sure it is converted to scale. I'm going to leave a link to this plugin in the description. Make sure it's conver converted to scale and add a UI corner and change the corner radius to 0 0.1, 0 and I'm just going to rename this frame to 1. Now I'm going to duplicate this frame and rename this, the other one to frame 2 and before I actually do that, I'm going to add a close button. So add a text button, uh, make, put it, uh, whatever you want. I'm just going to have a button that says close. So unit conversion scale, and I'm going to add a UI corner. Now I'm going to add, uh, change the background color to a nice red, as well as changing the text scale property to true and the text color to 255 comma 255 comma 255 for nice white now i'm going to change the text to close and the font to photo colon and i'm going to center it and now i'm going to duplicate this frame this time this will be frame number two and make sure you name the close buttons to close exactly like I renamed them, close. And I'm going to have a, to make this frame a bit different. So I'm going to make it maybe like blue or reddish or even just, let's make it green or gray. And I'm, this looks really bad. I'm going to make it, a nice pink and I'm going to make sure that both frames are invisible and that um, both of the close buttons are renamed to close and now here's the main thing that we're gonna do I'm going to add another frame inside of our uh, screen GUI and rename it to frames capital F and change the size to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 and the text I mean um, the uh, anchor point to 0 0.5 and the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 and after doing that I'm going to change the background transparency to 1 and I'm going to duplicate this frame put it inside of the frames and rename it to uh, frame 1 now I'm going to take the actual first frame and put it inside of frame 1 now, here's the tricky part. Whenever you want to add a new frame, duplicate this frame one thing, uh, rename it to whatever you want, frame two, for example. And I'm going to put the frame that I want to act, that I want to show inside of this frame uh, two that we just cloned. And what's what does that do? You might ask. Well, uh, let me show you. So it's firstly, uh, actually, before I show you, make sure that both of the one and second frame are visible and that the actual container frame is invisible so if i want to make one visible i can just make the actual container frame visible and it will become visible but this uh why did we add a frame well uh to twin it so the size would either be a zero, a one comma zero comma one comma zero or zero point five comma zero comma zero point five comma zero now what I'm going to do is make sure that all of the frames are invisible and I'm going to add a text button. 
Now I'm going to position this text button wherever I want. So this will be button number one and this will be button number two. Each one will have a an object value inside of it, which will be renamed to um, maybe opens, duplicate it, put it inside of another text button and press the first text button, select the opens value and press value and go to the frames and choose the frame that you want it to open. In this case, frame one and for the other button, frame two now that we have that set up what i'm going to do is add a local script inside of the main ss now i'm going to, to rename the local script to uh main or ui and i'm going to have some variables so local frames uh is equal to script dot parent common ways for child frames now what i'm going to do is have a variable for actually that's it now I'm going to have a function, local function, open frame, and a function for closing the frames. So local function close uh, frames, or just close. And this will be open. Now, what I'm going to do is loop through every single button for underscore comma btn in next script dot parent go and get the sentence do if button on find for child opens then um button dot mouse button one click And local frame is equal to but button confined to child opens dot value. And after doing that, I'm going to uh, check if the frame is opened or not. So if frame dot size dot y or yes dot y. Uh, the um, scale is greater than zero, then uh, we will close. So in here we're going to close, else I'm going to uh, greater or, yeah, greater. Now I'm going to put an else and else we're, gonna, we're going to open if it's uh, uh less than zero or equal to zero so what i'm going to do now is just call the close function so close and uh frame and in here we're going to take an argument as the frame and open frame now i'm going to call the open function so open frame and what I'm going to do now is just in here, I'm going to call the close function. So close and nil. After doing that, what I'm going to do is uh, have some variables. So local frame uh, tween speed is equal to maybe like 0.3 seconds or 0.5 seconds and after doing that what i'm going to do is uh check whenever it's pressed to open and i'm going to the frame frame contween size using two dot new and one comma zero come on comma zero now i'm going to give an easing style so enum or let's just give it a let's do out uh, and let's give it a business of sign after doing that what i'm going to do is in here i'm going to check if frame is equal equal to nil then what i'm going to do is 
do frame count win size using to or actually before we do this i'm going to loop through all of the frames so for i comma v in pairs frames con get children do uh if v con is a frame then v con tween size using two dot new zero comma zero comma zero comma zero and a comma and i'm going to put the uh is in is in a direction and then an is in style which will be sign and then a speed so it will be frame close speed now i'm going to create a variable for this so local frame close speed is equal to 0 0.2 and frame twin speed or frame open speed at this time i'm going to copy this and put it right here now what i'm going to do is check if it's not equal to nil if it's not equal to nil then i'm going to loop through every single frame just copy this but if, instead of doing this i'm going to actually yeah I'll just do this <laughs> and now i'm going to that's it literally so i'm just going to check if this works so i'm going to open up a frame and i don't think that works and this is because we have to make both of the frames visible and their size to 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 and play the game now let's see if it works don't worry about the little tiny dot in the middle it will be removed and it doesn't work why let's see so when we press a button hmm If frame dot, dot y dot, dot size dot y dot scale is greater than zero, else if it's okay. Now this is getting a bit confusing. What I'm going to do is make it just open up whenever it's pressed. So open frame. And that's it, hopefully. We open up a frame, nothing happens. Now what I'm going to do is try to uh, remove this closed nil line of code. And I'm going to open up a frame and it does work. Now, onto the closing bit. So whenever you open up a frame, we're gonna want to close all of the frames. So I'm going to try this out. So wait, uh, let's say three seconds and close nil and see what this does so i'm going to open up a frame it opens it up and it closes it so that does work now what i'm going to do is when we open up a frame i'm going to close all of the frames nil and wait uh frame close speed and then play the game And as you can see, we'll open and close uh, frames. And now we're gonna make close buttons work. So what I'm going to do is just loop through for i5e in pairs um, or in next. Uh, frames on get descendants to if v con is a text button, text or uh, image button image button or actually a ui button i think it's called ui button i'm really not sure okay so if we can use a uh, text button or v con is a image button then if v dot name is equal equal to close then v dot mouse button 
one click on the connect function and I'm going to close nil so that will close all of the frames let's check if this works I think it does yes this works like a charm all right so i'm pretty happy with the results i think this is going to be it for today's tutorial uh, actually before you do that I, I, I almost forgot to make the frames invisible and after making the frame disappear just move this else by the way and do frame dot visible is equal to false or actually v dot visible is equal to false copy this paste it here and that should be it now i'm going to make the frame visible so frame visible is equal to true now if you play the game it does this this is very easy to fix just do a wait frame close speed and then we're gonna make the frame invisible now if we open up a frame close it it waits for it to be closed at least sometimes actually it does okay now i am just going to make this a spawn function because we can't really wait for each frame and now if you play the game open up a frame nothing happens let me just check why so this is this should be very easy to fix If V coin is a frame, then okay. I think I'm just going to go for this. Actually, actually, what am I doing? I I just have to do this. So after this uh, for V for I comma V loop, we will put a wait frame close speed, and then make the frames invisible so copy this paste it here and instead of tween it we're going to change the visible property to false and that should be it so play the game check if this works and as you can see it does now this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Bye!